Here we have a product with multiple variant images, and when we select a variant, the images of the other colors are still visible. What if instead we could show only the images related to the selected color and hide the others? This is the problem that we're going to solve with copy pastes of code, but only for the free Shopify themes like Dawn, Spotlight, Refresh, etc. This solution doesn't require editing your alt tags or creating variant meta fields. But you're probably wondering, how are we going to assign multiple images to each variant without these two? Well, that's simple. Let's take this t-shirt with multiple colors again. First, we need to change the position of our images to group the one with the same color. And here's the order that you need to follow. So let's group these images. Also, the order of the groups needs to match the order of the color values. Here we have white, then blue and green. Same for the groups. First, we have the white, blue and green group. If you want to change the order of the values, simply click edit and drag them like this. Next, we need to make sure that the first image of each group is assigned to the appropriate variants. So let's scroll to the variants and to assign an image to a variant, simply click here and then you can choose your image. Make sure the variants of the same color have the same image assigned. Let's go back to the images and let's put the variant image of each group in the first position. And we are done grouping our images. This is just an example of grouping by color. You can group by any option name, but you can only group images using one option name at a time. The process is the same if you have videos or 3D models. You can just group them with your images. After you reordered the images of all your products, we still need to install some code snippets into our theme to use the image groups. As I said before, these code snippets will only work on the free themes, they're not compatible with the premium one. First, we need to duplicate the theme we want to add the feature into. So for me, it's this DAWN theme. It's important to have a backup when we edit the code of a theme so that we can always go back to the previous version. And you can click publish on your theme copy once you're satisfied with the changes. So now let's edit the code of our theme copy. You'll find the link to the code snippets that we're going to copy paste in the description of the video. So let's start with the first code snippet and the file concern is main dash product. So let's click on this button to copy the code and let's search for the file using this search bar here by typing, for example, main product and let's click on the file to open it. And we need to scroll at the bottom of the file and click here after this curly bracket and press Ctrl V to paste the code. Then save this file. Now let's move to the second code snippet. So let's go back to this page and let's scroll down. And here's the second code snippet and the file concern is global.js. So let's click here to copy the code. And let's go back to the code editor and search for the file by typing global. Let's open the file and let's click anywhere inside the file and press Ctrl F and type update media and then click on the previous button. And let's scroll down and let's click after this curly bracket and press enter and press Ctrl V to paste the code. Now let's save our changes. Now let's move to the third and last code snippet. Let's go back to this page and here's the third one. And the file concern is product media gallery. So let's copy the code, go back to the code editor and search for the file by typing gallery. And let's click here to open the file. And now click anywhere inside the file and press Ctrl A to select all the code inside the file. To make sure that you selected everything, you can delete it like this. And once you delete everything, you can press Ctrl V to paste the code. Then save your changes. So now we have finished installing the code snippets. And the next step would be to edit the theme settings to enable the media grouping feature. So to do that, we can just click on this button and click on customize theme. All right, now let's open the product page. So if we click on this drop down, click products and click on any product template, we can open the product page and let's change the product we're previewing here to a product that has multiple images like this men's t-shirt. So here we have the white color selected by default. And if we scroll down, we can still see the images of the other colors. So our feature is not enabled yet. And to enable it, we just need to click on this product information section and scroll down until we see these media grouping settings. So here we have this checkbox to enable the media grouping feature. And we also have this input field where we can type the option name we want to use to group our images. So you can adapt this to your own products. So if you want to group, for example, your products using the fabric option name, you can just type it like this. For me, it's just the color option. 
And this field is actually case sensitive. So if you have color with a lowercase c, make sure to adapt it here as well. For me, it's uppercase c. And now let's click here to enable the media grouping. And one more thing, we also need to make sure that this is checked, hide other variants media after selecting a variant, because this is necessary for our grouping feature to work. So now let's take a look at our product images. So we have white selected, and if we scroll down, we can only see the white images. And if I click on the blue, we can only see the blue colors. And same thing for the green, only the green images. The image grouping feature also works on other gallery layouts. So if we change the desktop layout to, for example, thumbnail carousel, and as you can see, it still works properly. Same thing for mobile. So if we take a look at the mobile view, our thumbnail grouping is still working. And we can also change the layout to, for example, show thumbnails. And our feature is still filtering the image properly. Let's say we don't have multiple variant images on this product and we don't need the media grouping feature for it. To have control over which product gets this feature, we can use page templates. First, we need to create a new product template on the live theme. So to do that, we just need to click on customize here, then click on this drop down, products, create template, and name our product template. Then click create template and go back to the product settings and scroll down until you see theme template. Then you can select your new template and save. And now click customize on your theme copy and create the same product template again for your copy for it to appear here. So make sure you give it the same name. And then click on the product information section again and just disable the media group in here. Then at the same time, I'll have the feature enabled for the t-shirt but disabled for these glasses. The opposite is also possible, having the default without media grouping and another template with grouping enabled. The process is the same if you want to use a different option name for media grouping on specific products. You can add another product template that groups media using the size option, for example. And lastly, if you have a multilingual store and you want to use this media grouping feature, you can enter multiple values separated by comma in this field. But please don't be confused. The code only takes the first matching option since we can only group images with one option at a time. So if you need to add different values like size or fabric, please create another page template for that like I showed you before. This is only for multilingual stores. All right, since you probably have products with multiple colors, you can improve your product page even further by adding color swatches or even showing your variants as separate products on the collection page without having to create new products. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next video.